Hello and welcome to Abstract AF. I'm Sneha Jaswal and we are going to be talking about the 2022 Bollywood film Sharmaji Namkeen. When Amazon Prime first dropped its trailer, Rishi Kapoor fans were extremely excited to see the beloved actor for one last time on the screen. And what do you say about this picture? I'm happy to see my heart. It's about a 58-year-old trying to adjust to retired life. When I first saw the trailer, I had my doubts about watching two different, very famous actors play the same role. And as expected, it was a little unsettling to watch both Rishi Kapoor and Paresh Rawal being switched. So the film starts with Paresh Rawal at his retirement ceremony. And within two minutes, the scene switches and we see Rishi Kapoor in his kitchen cooking food as Sharmaji again. Definitely a little weird to watch at first, but... Surprisingly, the confusion gets over within 15 minutes and you get used to seeing two different faces as one personality. The story seamlessly moves forward and despite their distinct acting styles, Paresh Rawal and Rishi Kapoor's Sharmaji incredibly become one. You cannot pick one over the other. Sharmaji is a widower who isn't happy about retiring, while his sons aren't amused by his varied attempts to try and keep busy. While we are used to seeing generational divides on screen, it's usually the parents looking down on unconventional choices of their kids. But in Sharmaji Namkeen, it's ironically the younger sons who are averse to their dad trying out new things. They heartlessly shoot down his plan to open a chart shop. So instead of putting his foot down or fighting it out with his sons, Sharmaji simply starts off a secret side hustle as a home chef for a gang of well-off ladies. What's going to happen when the boys find out their father is cooking for kitty parties? The primary conflict might not be dramatic, but makes for a joyous comedy to watch with the family. From his tumgas to the baby doll song, sat pouts over things when they don't work out, to sheer childish delight over eating good food. Rishi Kapoor is charmingly adorable as the lead. Paresh Rawal also is just as endearing, almost magically making viewers forget that he's a completely different man. Dui Tawla plays an independent businesswoman who strikes a warm friendship with Sharmaji. Her interactions with both actors was a delight to watch. Same goes for Satish Kaushik who keeps giving crazy ideas to his friend and is always there to share a drink when Sharmaji is down. Actor Suhail Nair, who plays Sharmaji's elder son Rinku, holds his own against seasoned actors and pulls off his mindly grey character with ease. A parallel subplot about Rinku trying to start a new life with his partner complements the primary story quite well, even though his character is a confusing contradiction of sorts. And I just love Sheba Chadda and all her brief cameos in all sorts of films. She's such an underrated actor. In fact, a lot of other familiar faces make short and sweet appearances, adding to the colourful shades of Delhi we get to experience. I love how Bollywood makers are finally getting realistic with depicting middle-class homes. Sharmaji lives in a chaotic house with a lot of things that scream 1990s and 80s, and his reluctance to let go of the place or make any changes to it will be all too relatable to any Indian who has been trying to convince their parents to modernize things around the house. The plot is paced well, with lively background music and a lot of comedic moments. There are no forced or jarring twists, no emotional exploitation to make the viewer break into tears. On the contrary, the climax is low-key hilarious, with an absurdly funny coming together of all main characters at one place. And even though things got a little predictable, the ending was open-ended and light-hearted. Like its title, Sharmaji Namkeen is a crisply made film just perfect for a little break, exploring life after retirement. It's a demographic that is often ignored, so the theme of a retiree finding his feet in a world that at first seems to have no need of him makes for a breezy watch. The makers cleverly weave in how social media isn't just a Gen Y Gen Z obsession, but pervades the lives of much older folks too. And amid everything the story tries to tell, one message stands out best that one can find their calling and make lifelong friends even after 60. It's an 8 on 10 from me. Do watch the film with your family if you haven't yet. Catch you next time. Have a great day.